everybody. This is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat. And I'm going to start by sharing a couple things that I use for this video or for these tags. And the first one is these um, little ornaments from the Paper Studio. I ordered them online at 50% off. So they're normally $4.99. I got them for $2.50. I ordered this Sizzix set. It is number 664782. I had to trim it down to make it fit in one of my um, pockets. And it makes a little bag, I guess. But I really just wanted it for the little characters. And so I used this. And the last thing I used was this right here, which is a really cute stencil. Lisa gifted it to me, so I'm not sure where she got it from. But it's called, it's from PA Essential Stencils, and it's a gingerbread man pattern is what it's called. I don't think it has, it has this. I don't know if that's going to be helpful. Excuse me. Or not right there. I don't know why I'm going cockeyed here. So I'm not sure if that would be helpful or not. But that is um, the name or the number on the stencil. And I'll be back in just one second to share with you what I made. Here is the first tag. I just used the snowman off of the die set. I used some safe freeze paper from an old paper pad, 6x6 six six paper pad that I had. I used some Nuvo crystal drops for the little buttons of coal. And then I used a Peachy Keen uh, face stamp for, and I believe it's Winter Face Assortment is the one that I used for the little, little face here. I inked it all up with my Tim Holtz Distress inks and chalked his little cheeks. Used one of my Copic markers just to fill in the little carrot nose. Used my Keep It Simple To and From stamp set from Paper Tray Ink for the uh, To and From here. Now, they do not carry that anymore. I have been sharing on other videos that um, Stamps of Life has a really cute To and From stamp set. I think it's called Tags. To make or something like that but I'll try to link it for you in the description box I believe I purchased these Sizzix dies I think I got them from Amazon I'm not sure if I got them from Amazon or Hobby Lobby oh I, it was Hobby Lobby because I ordered some fabric <laughs> I remember <laughs> a little slow-witted today I used some black and white ribbon from Hobby Lobby and a little snowman that I was gifted from Lisa and he turned out adorable I was really tickled with how he looks and if you give me one second I'll be right back with the next here is my second tag again I used a peachy keen face I wish I could link these but I'm pretty sure I was told that they went out of business so your best bet is to go to like eBay or something like that and see if you can find them there. I used a little candy cane to put it in his hand. I used my Nuvo crystal drops again on for the icing on the gingerbread man and his little gingerbread buttons. I inked him up with a Versamark uh, sepia colored ink for his little face. Now I did, I did have a little bit of trouble with this one. I inked all around the edges and then I waited till it dried and then I put the icing on. Well, I'll be darned, all my icing turned tan and it, it apparently had somehow reactivated the ink and soaked up into the white, which I've never had happen before, so I'm not sure what I did wrong that day. And so I went and I tried to go over top of the icing after it had dried the next day. I thought, that'll fix it, you'll never be able to tell, I'll just do it that way. It turned tan again. So I had to just ditch that one and start over. So my my gingerbread man is not inked around the edges, which is really kind of driving me cuckoo. But if I wanted white icing, I had to go with it like that. And I just used one of my paste for the background. 
and did the little gingerbread on it. I only did it part way, so I had room up here for the to and from. Another bow for or the ribbon here is from Hobby Lobby as well for the bow, and that was it. Short, sweet, and to the point. Another really cute tag, and it's got adhesive on the back, so it will go directly down onto a package. I absolutely love how they're turning out. I really like this die. I When I saw it, I fell in love with it. And then I kept looking at it as I was waiting for the order to arrive. And I thought, oh, I don't know why I bought that. I don't know if I like that. But then, when it came, I fell back in love with it. I don't know what my problem was in between, but I'm, I'm happy now. So this is my second tag, and I'll be right back with my next. This is my third and final tag for this set. I just inked him up with my Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Used some papers from my stash. I used a embossing folder that I was gifted and for the background. And then I put a piece of white over top the bottom. I cut it out again so that I could have the same design all the way around that this tag has. And that way I would have a flat place to put the to and from. Here's where I use the little um, lights. And I like this set because they're on a little wire so I could bend them. So I was really tickled with that. I wish I could have found, or I wish I had bought more of them. But and I wish they had them in different colors just besides red, gold, and green. I'd have liked to have seen some blues and other things thrown in. But I love them. And, um... Now I'm kicking myself for only getting two packs of them, but that's all right. I will get more, you know, later on. They still had them at Hobby Lobby, and I just placed this order um, maybe three weeks ago. So they had these still three weeks ago on their Hobby Lobby website. And that is it. I used googly eyes, which I thought were adorable. And um, I believe it comes with two little black, dots that you can punch you know you can die cut out but I would have before I'd have done that I would have just used my black glaze pen but for some reason I decided to go all googly and add my little googly eyes which make me very happy <laughs> I love googly eyes and of course turned him into Rudolph with a red nose and used some more of the ribbon from Hobby Lobby and that's it guys it's done I love how these three tags turned out. I'm really tickled with them. I really like that die set. And plus, like I said, it makes a little box that I haven't even tried yet. I had just originally wanted them for the little characters. So, I, I love doing Christmas characters. It makes me happy. But, so, I mean, I'll still be able to use the box die and put that together and do some stuff with that. I'm not sure how big it's going to end up being. Like it, To me, it appears like it might be like the size of a box of Tic Tacs. Maybe a little bigger. You know, I'm not sure. But I'm happy with the die, even if I just use the character. So, that's it. These are my set of tags for this first set of tags for this week. And I'll be back later on with some more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Remember to practice your CPR. Craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.